Yes, sir. The South Florida Pete Lovers. The Pete Lover. Well, what do we got here today, bad boys? Your brothers are back. You're ready to blow it. Oh, so what do we got here, bro? Stranahan's Colorado Whiskey. Single malt. Made out of barley only. Um, I've been uh, dialoguing through Facebook with the um, master distillers. I'll leave it for later. We're going to a fucking no, liquor store. This is bothering my fucking back right now. Anyhow, going back to what's important. Um, I've been dialoguing through Facebook through the, uh, with the uh, master distillers from Stranahan. And I found out that this sherry oak version, it's about four years old. Um, it's made out of barley only. It's a single malt, and it runs uh, for about eighty dollars here in Miami. Um, it's—I uh, don't know. I think it's a—it's uh, a really good. It's a really good uh, single malt, in my opinion. We had a few drums, but you know, as it goes down, uh, it tends to get better. Some whiskeys tend to get worse. Uh, we'll find out right now. Uh, which one it is? Well, I'm sure there's a lot of it's got to do too with you know the elevation where they get the water from and all the shit you know to, to be like the right I guess the right amount. This is a bottle of 47 percent alcohol by volume and um, elevation of 5,280 feet. I won't say that's decent height. To I don't know if they're grabbing the water and what they're doing over there as far as the cask and how they store them and how that shit breathes and so all of that combined. And I don't know, it's got to play some sort of factor into this, but no age statement, no age statement. on this. They did mention four years old. They say it's natural color. Uh, no idea about chill filtration. But yeah. nonetheless, no age statement made out, you know, in, in, Colorado, in Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City, uh, $80. I saw a video of another dude that purchased the, uh, I think it's called the Diamond Peak, which is another version they got. And he yeah, paid 40 one. bucks. So maybe because it's a sherry cast version, I don't know. But yeah. uh, let's fucking crack it open. I like bro. the bottle. Well, it comes with a little tin. It comes with a little tin, and I guess the surgery is a little pour your own. Uh, like when you, you, you when you're up in the mountains. Yeah, you can act like your own Sir Bernard if you don't have a Sir Bernard with a little, with a little shit on it. A little barrel. But uh, with no further ado, we actually hit this last night a little bit just to get a feel of it. Oof. Like you had it in the trunk for a while. What do you think? It's building pressure in there. We have got an array of shit to drink today. Uh, talking about from Lagavulin Distills Edition to the famous Grouse 18, which is what we were just been pounding, uh, to a whole bunch of other shit. Yes. Yeah, right in the front. Put the gun next to uh, We also have an Adora, Cherry Oak. I think we did videos on those things a while ago. But anyhow, this is the Florida Life, Miami. A little. Brick BBQ here. Yeah, sitting in our sister's backyard right now, yeah. enjoying the the sanctuary back here. Hot as shit. For those of you yeah. that don't know Florida very well, it's, it's hotter than a blue play ray or in a crack house right now. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, it's about the index is about 91, 92, and it feels at about a buck five. So, bro, I pick up a lot of freaking like. Cinnamon, cinnamon, yeah, vanilla, uh, coffee, uh, fuck, and uh, no maple. filter, no, no filter. This isn't a fucking hint. It's this like time, maple. It's like smack in the face cinnamon, and it's pretty thick. You know, I would love to see this get to like a twelve-year-old age yeah, thing and see what happens there. You know, I'd be really curious. The color is fantastic. Um, I don't even know if it's. Um, you know, a natural color or not. Yeah, they, they, they confirmed that in the dialogue I was carrying with them. Uh, one thing though, um, it doesn't taste like it, but on the nose, I smell like a little bit of rubber, plastic. He's got great legs though. Yeah, oh, just like the bitch I fucked last night. <laughs> wonderful legs. Yeah, for being, well, natural color, this is really dark. And they're first fill. So all of that is through a dialogue, like I mentioned before, that I've had with the owners of Stranahan. Uh, I didn't even ask about chill filtration, but you know. This is heavy sherry. Yeah. Heavy sherry. Mm. 
Well, I said, yeah, a little bit of plastic on the tongue. Yeah, but it confirms everything on the nose so far. Yes, I mean, it does. Lots of, and it's going it's back again, this is no longer a hint of cinnamon. Yeah, it's a smack on the face. Yeah, cinnamon. it's a lot of cinnamon, vanilla, toffee, almost like a mapley feeling to it too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is thick. This is good, man. It is good stuff. I don't know if. I don't know if it's worth the money though. I mean, you know how many single malts are here for eighty bucks? I mean, I don't know if it's worth the money. I mean, I could go with eighty bucks and and I could pick up a really good variety. Um, of, you know, then I could absolutely turn my face the other way on this one. Well, with eighty dollars, I get myself a Glen Levitt twelve, Glen Fredrick twelve. And still have about ten dollars to play with for a nice little tonic or vodka or gin. If you're hosting a party, now if you're treating yourself, I put the whole eighty all in one basket. Oh yeah, and then some. Yeah. Um, but you know, to to say the least, I think it's a good product. Uh, American single ball uh, for non-age statement. I think they're they're good. I just I don't know if I necessarily agree with price point. No, and I, and I was just thinking about it. And, you know, I, I wouldn't mind cuffing up probably 45, 50 bucks at the most just because the sherry matured. Uh, all, I think 80 is too steep, though. Mm -hmm. If I had to give it a price point, I would say they have to probably do around before, between 48 and 53 bucks. Yeah, uh, I'm would, okay paying that. I would think, you know, that I would be more than happy. To pay that, I wouldn't be happy at all to pay 80 bucks for this. Mm. Uh, now that it's not good, I just think that you know, if you're breaking in right now, you haven't even established your brand, and you want to come out of the gate hitting bombs, you know, you're swinging for the fence right now. Yeah, we know how feel <laughs> Well, the thing is that you know, Sherry Cass, bro, you gotta pay the price for that. Uh, something you mentioned yesterday is that it tastes a little bit like a bourbon, yeah, it's got a bourbon feeling to it at the same time. Uh, that, like that little earthy aftertaste that you get from bourbons. Uh, I get it more uh, more from like the Maker's Maker's Edition or the Maker's 46. Um, you know, I never liked that garbage. Yeah, that shit that, not got that feeling. And I got a very good friend of mine that he absolutely swears by these products. He loves them. Um, you know why? And, and great. I think they're great mixers for me. Like I will mix some shit like that with some juices or like some soda to so just give it a, a hint of um, alcohol that is not that gin or maybe vodka flavor uh, or tequila flavors but you know they give you some of that whiskey background to it so yeah bourbons to me serve that purpose in a lot of ways um, but this has got a bourbony feeling to it yeah well maybe because we're we're so into Scottish whiskey that all of a sudden we got this new contender out of the big US of A you know no age statement and you know they're asking for 80 bucks i don't know when, when we first started for us spending 40 dollars do you remember when we started drinking glenfiddich 12 and Levitt, and all of a sudden we get this glenfiddich 15 which is the the, the solera and then we got the uh the 15 Levitt, which is the uh the french oak and at that point man like 12 15 years ago maybe I, I, I thought I was like riding first class on the yeah, plane. Yeah, big balling. Yeah, big balling. Uh, well, you know, through time, uh, you learn, you grow, as well as your income, your capabilities, your possibilities. So, you know, coming up two, three, four hundred dollars for a bottle, it becomes like, you know, something that you regularly do on a, on a monthly basis. So, looking back 15 years ago, you know, it's like, wow, we're spending $20 on something that, uh, just broke into the market and look how funny it says elevation 5820 mile high city a mile up where the air is really dense over there where the ball doesn't really carry uh, course field you know um, there's a lot of factors to consider here when they were making this stuff and once I'm back in Colorado I'm definitely gonna pay my visit there is a particular bottle that's called snowflake I don't know the price they release it once a year, and that's in the month of December. And I don't even know what day of the month, but they supposedly they announce that, and people make lines and they wrap around the, the building just to make that purchase on that particular bottle. So 
Uh, supposedly it's a mixture of like four or five different casks, including Sherry Oak. They got some other Sherry casks involved, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty interesting. I was I was watching a video on YouTube on that. Uh, you should check it out. I mean, if you're in Denver and you happen to be a fan of ours, let me know, man. Get us one. We'll ship you the cash and ship it to us. Anything you want to add to that? No. It's definitely too fucking hot to be hired. It is. It's I'm really 47. hot. 47% alcohol here. Yeah, I know it's kind of windy. It's not terribly bad, but at the same time, I'd rather enjoy this dram and, and a little bit of cool air. I have to say that, you know what, I, would I buy it for the price? Maybe if I had to buy it one time and one time only. Uh, but outside of that, I would really consider my options that 80 bucks could get me in comparison to this. And But I don't think I'll buy it again. Is it a good dram? I think so. It tastes better today. Yeah, uh, but at the same time, you know, there's a whole bunch of other ones that could give me this in a better pleasure. pleasure than to worry about, you know, am I drinking something that's good and, and does the price point meets, uh, you know, my satisfaction. So um, either way, I don't think I'll buy it again, but at the same time, I think it's definitely good. And so, but it's got it's got its work cut out for with so many other competitors. Yeah, or maybe we're just spoiled the fact that, you know, every time we buy has an age statement, we're expecting the same return for the money you know like most people that drive beamers audis and benzes you know and they just simply buying a batch none of the shit that they offer a japanese contender can match you know at a lower price better quality so you know i don't know all right man so the south florida p lovers are giving a thumbs up uh, that's definitely something everybody ought to try but i wouldn't pay the money for it if you get it for 50 60 go for it 80 dollars i don't think yeah i don't think we'll buy another out of the range Take it easy, fellas.